Sorry, I'm like trying to make sure my hair doesn't look flat. Okay. Good evening, I'm Julia Salmon. Thanks for joining us at WVUA 23 Sports. Here are the top stories from this past weekend. This past weekend in college football, fans were shocked when the number two team, Clemson Tigers, dropped to the eighth spot because of the loss to an unranked Syracuse Orange. Dante Strickland set the tone for the Orange with a first quarter touchdown, a 23-yard pass from Eric Dungy. The Orange ended the game with Cole Murphy's 30 yard line, 30 field goal. Can I just start over? I, I messed up in the beginning and that's all I could think about the whole time. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Whew. Good evening. I'm Julia Salmon. Thanks for joining us at WVUA 23 Sports. Here are the top stories from this past weekend. In college football, fans were shocked when the number two Clemson Tigers dropped to the eighth spot because of a loss to the unranked Syracuse Orange. Dante Strickland set the tone for the Orange with a first quarter touchdown from a 23-yard pass from Eric Dungy. The Orange ended the game with Cole Murphy's 30-yard field goal, letting them win 27-24. The Tigers are hoping to redeem themselves against the Georgia Tech Jackets at home this Saturday at 7 p.m. The number one team, Alabama Crimson Tide, celebrated homecoming with a knockout win against Arkansas. Damian Harris scored a 75-yard run touchdown in the first 15 seconds. The Crimson Tide kept their Razorbacks out of their end zone until the third quarter with Connor Limpert's 30-yard field goal. The Crimson Tide won 41-9. It's the third week of October, which means Tennessee Hate Week in Tuscaloosa. The Tennessee Volunteers will play at Bryant-Denny Stadium on Saturday at 2.30. The Georgia Bulldogs prove college football fans once again that they are here and present this season. The Bulldogs beat the Missouri Tigers this past Saturday by 53-28. to Jack Fromm, the Bulldogs' true freshman, ended the game with 326 yards and two touchdowns. Kirby Smart has taken the Bulldogs from an unranked team to the number three spot this season. The Bulldogs have a bye weekend this week, but will play one of their biggest rivalry, rivalries, the, the Florida Gators, in Jacksonville at 2.30 on the 28th. This weekend, four MLB teams started their road to the World Series. The Los Angeles Dodgers played the Chicago Cubs at home this past weekend. The Dodgers rem Remained the, reminded the Cubs that this is not 2016 anymore by clinching the home series. The Dodgers and Cubs will be in Chicago this week for the second part of the series. The New York Yankees and Houston Astros played in Houston this past weekend, where the Astros took the home field as advantage by beating the Yankees. Astros' Justin Verlander made his American League championship debut Saturday and ended it with a win. This week, the Yankees and Astros will move to New York to continue the series. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to check back next week for more weekend highlights. I'm Julia Salmon. Have a good night.